Okay, Portable Tools, Host Expert, Host Man, and Browser Redirects, and how you can use these tools to your advantage. Now, when you download them, they're in zip files. Now, we'll start with Host Expert, and I will extract it to my USB drive. Uh, my USB stick, I should say. And I've already created a folder called Hosts, and that's where it will be located. So I will extract it to there. It doesn't take very long. I would do the same with Hosts Man. Now, I suggest you use one or the other. Don't use both. You only need one. And again, this will go into the host folder on my USB stick. Now, if I open up my USB stick, as you can see, the host folder is there. If I open it up, host expert and host man, host man needs to be set up. Host expert is installed and ready to run. There is no installation. Host man, you need to double click to run it, accept the agreement, click next and just follow through. Browse for your location, which again will be in the host file on the USB stick. Click OK, click Next, and allow it to install it. Now you can create a backup of the host file and you can disable the DNS client service. If this is greyed out, it's already disabled. If not, tick the box. Click Next, and when you finish, the program will launch. Now it's a very small interface. Here you can disable the hosts. So if your hosts have been hijacked and you're getting browser redirects, just disable them. You can update and you can open the host file. Under file you can open hosts, import, export, enable, disable. Hosts, check for updates, manage update sources, scan the host file to see if there are any errors. You can find duplicates, delete comments, replace the IP. The standard IP is 127.0.0.1. You can re replace this with 0 .0 0.0.0.0 or a custom one. You can count the host names. You can manage backups. Now, if you have a malware infection that's redirecting you, click on Manage Backups. Then click on Original Hosts. Restore Backup. Click that and that will restore the original host. Click yes and that's it. You can then close that window and you have one host only which is the local host. Now if we click on updates it's pre-ticked for MVPS. I prefer to use HP hosts. You can merge or overwrite the current hosts and you can manage the sources. I will download the HP hosts and allow that to update and install itself and that's it done so close the window as you can see there's now 104,504 entries so there's quite a few there and these are bad sites that you really don't want if you go to tools the hostman editor this will open up this little window where you can add a site the IP localhost has already entered simply enter the URL and click add and it will be added to the host file. It's very simple and very easy. Now, host expert, simply double click it to run it. And the, the list will populate, which will take just a couple of minutes because it's a new list. And as you can see, there's loads of entries in there. It's over 100,000 that were imported from HP hosts. You can make it writable or make it read only. You can back up and restore. You can create a backup here. Import options. You can replace the host, merge the host, or append the host file. And you can restore the MS host file. Now, if you get browser redirects, by doing that, it takes it back to the local host. And that is the only entry. It clears all the stuff out of it. If you want to add host to it, simply click in the box. It will enter the local host, enter the URL, and then click Add Line. And that's it, it's nice and simple. Now if you go to download, there's MVPS hosts, HP hosts. Again, I will go with HP hosts. I will merge it. And it connects to the site, downloads, installs, populates the list. And as you can see, there's 104,534 lines. Now if I go to tools, if you find that you're being blocked on a site, 
have a look if it's if you consider it to be a safe site search for it enter the URL in there and search and when you find it you can either delete the line by right clicking or delete the line and add it into, into your whitelist and by adding it to the whitelist in future you won't have this problem now I'll make this read only and come out of this for a moment now here I have a Google page open ready for a search and what I will do is install a load of malware and open up a new browser. Now as you can see the malware has redirected me to a Dutch Google site and if I want to go to malwarebytes.org it takes a few seconds for the page to load and here we are malware bytes exposed compare antivirus deals and alternative products these will take you to further malicious downloads so it just creates further problems now a couple of things you can do if you're using hostman disable the hosts that's it and if you open up host expert if you're using that click on restore the MS host file as you can see the host file has been disabled and there's only the local host there anyway but use one or the other in some cases malware will stop these programs from running and at the moment by cleaning it this has allowed me to go to the Malwarebytes homepage whereas before it was redirecting me and I can now download the program I don't want to because I already have it now as I said some of these programs can actually stop you from running these programs open up your C drive open up the Windows folder open up the system 32 folder and then open the drivers folder when you're there click on etc highlight all of the hosts and delete them this is only if I, neither of those programs will work simply delete them click yes to all and you will be left with LM hosts protocol services and so on you want to keep those it's very important that you keep those but the hosts themselves you can simply remove them now if we go back to malware bytes again there's nothing there in the host to block or redirect so I can quite safely download it that's not a problem you know it's quick and easy and it's a great time saver now as you can see here's the malware I downloaded and installed and what I will do is update malware bytes if you haven't got this program download it and keep it as an on-demand scanner or if you haven't got a real-time anti-malware upgrade it uh, to the paid version the pro version now I've scanned with this has found 109 infected objects as you can see there's files folders registry values keys and so it goes on it's got a little bit of everything in there which nobody really wants so remove selected and as always malware bytes you will need to reboot afterwards to remove the processes that are locked by the system if you want any more information and download links for these programs you can find them at free pc security which is at freepcsecurity.co.uk they're all free